Now to the controversy that has suddenly erupted around the Democratic presidential candidate Joseph Biden, the charge that he has plagiarized parts of his speeches. Today, Biden was forced to take time out from his Judiciary Committee duties to hold a press conference to answer two charges, that he copied part of a paper when in law school and recently adopted as his own quotations from the Kennedys and other politicians. The story surfaced last weekend when the New York Times copied or compared a Biden conclusion in a debate in Iowa to a well-received speech delivered last year by British Labour Party leader Neil Kinnock. First Kinnock, then Biden. Why am I the first Kinnock in a thousand generations to be able to get the university? Why is Glenys the first woman in her family in a thousand generations? to be able to get the university was it because all our predecessors were thick did they lack talent those people who could sing and play and recite and write poetry those people who could make wonderful beautiful things with their hands those people who could dream dreams see visions but why didn't they get it was it because they were weak those people who could wait, work eight hours underground and then come up and play football, weak. Those women who could survive in 11 childbearings, well, they weak. Does anybody really think that they didn't get what we had because they didn't have the talent or the strength or the endurance or the commitment? Of course not. It was because there was no platform upon which they could stand. And I started thinking as I was coming over here, why is it that Joe Biden is the first in his family ever to go to a university? Why is it that my wife who's sitting out there in the audience is the first in her family to ever go to college? Is it because our fathers and mothers were not bright? Is it because I'm the first Biden in a thousand generations to get a college and a graduate degree that I was smarter than the rest? Those same people who read poetry and wrote poetry and taught me how to sing verse? Is it because they didn't work hard? My ancestors who worked in the coal mines in Northeast Pennsylvania and come up after 12 hours and play football for four hours? No, it's not because they weren't as smart. It's not because they didn't work as hard. It's because they didn't have a platform upon which to stand. Today, Biden moved to confront the controversy that faces his presidential campaign. Jeff Goldman reports. Reporters packed a Capitol Hill news conference to hear Senator Biden's response to the plagiarism allegations. He was asked if he indeed studied the Kinnick videotape. The answer is yes. I looked at that tape. I was moved by that tape. Uh, I, we sat down, I turned it on, I said, my Lord, look at this guy. Look at the, what he is expressing here. And I, didn't, I looked at it once and I didn't have to look at it again. And what I would do out on, the, out on the stump, I'd say, I saw a tape from Neil Kinnock where he stands there and he's angry. And he looks out at his people and he says, why am I the first Kinnock ever to go to a university? It doesn't take much if you feel that, folks. You don't have to look at that 10 times. I saw that and it was a connect. I mean, I could tell how that man felt. And it's how I feel. It's how I feel about what my party's about, and what I'm about. Biden also defended his use of unattributed quotations in his campaign speeches. The fact of the matter is every time that I have been aware that it has been someone else's quote, I have used it. As a matter of fact, the criticism of me by the press with good reason has been in part in this campaign that I quote too many people, that I quote Kennedy all the time, I quote King all the time, I quote uh, Humphrey all the time. So what I'm saying to you is that if and when I've ever quoted anyone without saying this is their quote, it's either because, as I say in some speeches, listen, can you hear the voices? Let the word go forth. I don't quote anybody, everybody knows that. When I haven't attributed it, it's either because, in fact, it's been clearly known by everyone what it is, or I honestly did not know I was quoting somebody else. A third charge leveled against Biden alleged that as a first-year law student at Syracuse University, he plagiarized a law review article in a legal brief prepared for class. 
I took the cases out of the Law Review article and the footnotes out of the Law Review article, and I thought what I was doing honestly was the right way to do it, and the, and the representation about what the case said from the Law Review article. And then at the end of the Law Review article, when they set out and said, this is what all this means, I wrote that in my paper, what the conclusion of the Law Review article, and I footnoted it. Now, folks, the footnote, I'm footnoting a Law Review article on a 15-page paper where I use five pages of the 15 pages out of the Law Review, which refer to the cases. And then as the conclusion comes up, I cite the conclusion, footnote 21, Law Review article, what page it occurs at, at the end of these, the, this citation. I was wrong but I was not malevolent in any way. And so this young fellow who apparently somebody's found, some other campaign's found, <laughs> great, I knew he'll already be around somewhere one day, uh, um, found and uh, he went as a, uh, as a good young fellow and he said, hey professor, this guy didn't do it the right way. Brought it to the professor, the professor brought it to the dean, the dean said, explain yourself, Biden. And I wrote, which you will get, it's in my record here, I wrote a two-page letter explaining why I had been so stupid, but that I did not intentionally move to mislead anybody. I didn't. Biden was then asked what effect these allegations would have on his presidential campaign. I don't think it will have any effect, but I don't know. You all will make the judgment about that. It'll all depend on how you write it. I don't mean that. I'm not being smart. It'll all depend on the American people looking at me. They're going to look at me and say, is Joe Biden being honest with me? Or is Joe Biden not being honest with me? I'm being honest. 